Howdy folks and welcome back to Civilization 6 with me, Scriptar. I think it's episode 5. Should be. Wait for this turn to end. Uh, last time we finally managed to found our new city. We lost an eagle warrior and an archer in the process, which wasn't very nice. But we got an eureka moment for killing something with the spearman. And we found Philip down here. We're trying to find the horses, which we can't see. Running out of money. Well, we're getting money. It's all fine. So, what next? Spearman moves over here. Cannot attack. Spearman versus Spearman. Also not too good, especially since um, these get terrain bonus and all that stuff. Fortified defense. Yeah. Why is there Spearman 37 and minus 27? Well, because of all the bonus. Yeah, okay. Just stay here and fortify until healed. That guy should be done in a turn. It's nothing to do right now. Sailing is coming up. Very nice. Nothing here where we need sailing for. Oh, Philip is taking care of that. You could have done that like five turns earlier. Wouldn't have lost that many units. Right. It is not that life ashore is distasteful. Yes. That as well. Uh, you? You finish the job there? Ouch! Alright, that worked. Uh, what are we gonna do with you? I've explored quite a bit over here. Well, you are. Where are you going? A wall. Alright, just continue. It's bananas. There's iron. Look at that. We want to go over here. We want to grab that iron. Oh, uh, which prompts me to do this. Uh, which means you stay here and escort that settler once we get to that stage. There's mountains here. One, two. There's a river. So if we were to settle like here, we get sheep, iron, iron, a stone, variety of different tiles, deer, uh, one, two, three, four, we might get the bananas later in the game. Could that a little further down, like... No, not really. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that doesn't change. If you go down here, one, two, three, four. The closer we get to the city state, the more annoyed they get. <laughs> Understandably, but we do want to be close to that river. We can always build an aqueduct, and we could settle right here. There's a mountain, aqueduct right here. That would give us all of this pretty much immediately. It would be ours, nobody could take it. One, two, three, we would get that, we would get that. And a lot of tiles that are worth nothing. And whatever is up here. There's signs there, that's interesting. Yeah, let's scout around a little more, wait for the settler to be done, and then we can decide. You know what? Let's actually put down a marker. Haven't done that so far. Placing pin. Let's say, hmm, one here. Settle icon and say, maybe? That gives us that. And we could put down another one and say, hmm. Tempted to go there. Just because it's closer to the mountains and to all of this unexplored territory up here, which might be really nice territory. And we leave all of this to another city. Is there anything up here? No. Alright, let's leave that for now. We have one marker. Just keep in mind that there's more options. So, what do we want next? Do we have any boosts? Yeah, that. 
Pikeman. That's the upgrade to the Spearman, I believe. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make much sense to have a boost through Spearman. Built on the lake, must be built on coast, yeah. Hmm. That would definitely be an upgrade right there. And that's medieval era. Do we need anything like this? No, not really. Ancient era heavy cavalry unit. It's so nice that these don't need horses. Makes complete sense, right? You can build chariots and you don't need to put horses in front of them. It doesn't say it needs horses. <laughs> um, water mill. Rice and wheat plus one food. We do have rice. We do get extra production. We are adjacent to a river most of the time. Minor resource. Could probably do. We need a builder for that and we don't have time to build a builder right now. What else? Harbor District? Maybe knock out the lighthouse. One movement for our naval units can be quite nice. It's not that good really. Losses, trade route. Plus immediate trader, nah. Put golden production on all desert tiles. Still don't have any desert tiles really. Plus two gold from each adjacent river. And harbor. And Royal Navy Dockyard. That sounds British. And from every two adjacent district tiles. So if we put two districts around this one, then we get one bonus. Alright. That gives us a lot of money, which enables us to buy more stuff. And have a bigger army. Make a trade route. Alright, we might. Let's go there. What do we need to buy a trader? 220. Yeah. That's like 15 turns. This is done in 17. That's not worth it. <laughs> might be able to build one? It's only 7 turns. We want to build one first and then go for... Yeah, let's do that. If you build that one first, seven turns, then that will be ten turns left on this one. We boost half of it. If this is 17 turns, well, 18 would be nine. So we lose nine turns with ten remaining. That means one turn. So once the, the trader is done, we start the trade route. This will pretty much immediately be done. We can go to the next tag. And then we can still go and start the... Uh, the settler. Also, then we can trade between these two cities and actually build a road, which the trader will do automatically. That's nice. I like that. Let's move in here a little bit. Can we? No, next turn we can. Want to get a little better visual. Yeah, sure. I take the gold. Bye. See, that updated just now from 11 to 12, that one gold we got there. Go over here. Now I can't kill that, it's a pity. Still don't see the horses. Where did you... your units? That looks better for me. That looks for him. No, it doesn't. Major defeat. Yeah, right. Hmm. Shouldn't really do that. You're still here, so you can continue that. I, I grant you that. No problem. Oh, here's the border. Nice. Still no horses. So they must be somewhere over here. Really? Hear that. As I mentioned, this is only one movement cost because we're coming out of the city, so there is a bridge over the river, and then it's one more movement to get here. Very nice. There they are. Finally. 
Uh, that's one, two, three, four tiles to get there. That's not good. It's a nice area here for food. Much in the way of resources. All of these will be connected to that city pretty soon. Uh, Alright, not interested. Go back home. Oh, over here. Geneva. It was so close and we never found it. What's that? Marble. Interesting. And dice and copper. And there's a river. So if we settle here, we still build an aqueduct here. <clears throat> it has to be next to the city center and next to the mountain. We have this and this and this resource. That's nice. So that's also a very good location. Let's put on another marker here. Yep. Uh, city 4. Gorgeous. Can't build there? Oh, there's a territory there. I just noticed. Yeah, sure. No, we can't build there. Uh. <laughs> Alright. You. Go away. Get it. I have to think of something else there. Alright, so what else? You need orders. Yeah, you can go back home. That's fine. Nothing else I want you to do. Still waiting for that trader. Only three turns now? We just grow? No. Alright, weird. Got some production bonus somewhere. You go back home, you attack that probably, hopefully, let's make it happen. Wow. We're actually wielding an army here. That's a new unit. Hmm. Might as well. Might as well get some XP. I like that. Looks good. 19 versus 54. You should be able to kill that. When you're attacking with a cavalry unit, which is bad when there's a spearman there. Amateurs. Um, you can actually stay there. It's fine. Oh, we found one. Gimme, gimme, goody hut. State workforce. Interesting. It is equally important that just to stand and engage workforce as it is. Still doesn't get us any closer to where we want to be. What does it? A workforce, that one. Oh, it's actually not bad. This gets us exactly where we want to be. Meet three city states. We have two, right? Geneva, Zanzibar. That might be so nice to get a third one here and then have that boost. Take off ten turns. Okay, that guy is gone. Don't really care. Trader, here we go. Um, one food and one production if we trade with our own city or we get a lot of money or a lot of money and a lot of science if we trade with something else. Thing is, if we do this, it's a relatively short route. We build our road, which means we can transfer units between those cities relatively fast. And it's a pretty controlled area. I mean, this will link up eventually. 
we will see most of the area around it. If we go down here, we have unexplored territory. We actually have to go around. Because we can't see this. Looks like it. Uh, it will take longer for their trade route to complete. And there's always a chance of ba 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 barbarians. Yes, barbarians attacking. Once that city is here, that's not an issue. For now, I just I just want that. I want that road done. Bringing riches to our civilization, this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities. Yes. Thank you very much. One turn as predicted. Awesome. Uh, you go back to whatever it is you're doing. Oh, there's iron. There's quite a bit of iron around here. I like that. So we reached seven seven pop. Shot on amenities. Entertainment district would be nice, which we don't have yet. Holy side, does that give amenities? Well, all the upgrades you can build in there, I think, do. But I really do want to get into campus. Anything good yet? That gives a bonus. How does that give a bonus? Don't get this. <laughs> oh, two rainforest tiles. Is that what it is? Same here. The other one was somewhere down here, which is these two, or is it because it's next to two resources? Something like that. That's what it is. Hmm. Hmm. No. Just finish the settler. And we'll take off one pop. That will alleviate that thing. It's okay. Du -du 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 -du. Our city state neighbors have made a request of us. Money. Very nice. If it does not bring you money, homes. money, give, give me all the money. What is your quest? Trigger an inspiration for defensive tactics. All right. What's your quest? I don't even have a harbor yet. Well, I could build it right here, because I don't need a harbor as the city is built on the coast. Yeah, when that is done, I might actually get into building a ship, but it will not be a quadriem. Quadrieme? Something like that. Um, because I don't think we have that researched yet. Hey! <laughs> For that, we need two of the former ships that we can build, which is that. Still have mind a resource or anything like that. Alright. Alright, alright. Do want to get into this because we need that relatively soon. Build ancient walls. We are doing that, right? Mine a resource, not really going to happen anytime soon. Only takes eight turns. It's okay. And use the water mill. It's a good thing. Uh ancient walls, yeah, in eight turns. So when that is done, we get the boost for the next following tech. Perfect. I like that. So we now have one of one trade route filled. That's good. If this guy... No, this guy doesn't attack. This guy does attack. Shouldn't attack. Uh-huh. Stay here. That should be done in a matter of seconds, which is ten turns. <laughs> Come on, do stuff. Shut up. You can't even kill a barbarian encampment. Oh, no. Yes, you did. Perfect. So there's barbarians here somewhere. Probably right down there. <laughs> uh, go back home. You found our city. I cannot let you live. We 
you're moving the wrong direction, pal. <laughs> if I had stayed here, I would have been able to attack now. Gorgeous. Uh, I should have moved over here to threaten it. Right. That's what happens when you leave it to the AI to determine where best to go. Awesome. And we got the same issue. There's another river. There. Right. It's that one. So this guy is running home uh, that way. Why have you been over here? Cares. He should be home in a turn. We've decided not to go home. Interesting. Oh, he's home somewhere up here? That doesn't make any sense to me either. Oh, we linked up. Down here. And you can see the whole thing. So you already have a trade route going like... To Geneva. Alright. That is also the corner of this part of the continent. It's good. Hopefully this is the corner as well. Then you can't go anywhere and I can trap you in there. And hopefully kill you. For which we need more wars because he has a bigger army. So we need to have them come to us. Or we can retaliate. This is a nice area for a city down here. If there was any good river... You have iron, if you want to. It's not so nice. Stone, there's iron, there's more stone, there's deer, there's copper, there's a lake. You will build a city here. That would give us all kinds of good resources. It's desert? Yes, it is desert. It's pretty bad for growth. Who wants orders? You want orders. Is that still there? Let's have a peek. That's still there. Able to kill that. Yes, we are. Plus 10 combat versus anti cavalry units. I'll do that. Preemptive strike. Hey, that's mine. Can't have it. Mm hmm. Don't nice. reinvent the wheel. Now, what next? Hmm. Get plus two here. to the mountain? No, the mountain only gives bonus over here and says it. So, for whatever reason, probably because of two adjacent forest tiles. Something like that? Alright, how about you? This is all nice. Well, you can see this is adjacency bonus due to the, what is it, rainforest? Yeah. So if we clear out the rainforest because we need to build something else, then also this adjacency bonus obviously will disappear. This is just flat plus two. It doesn't depend on any adjacency bonus. Also does not get the mountain bonus. Or it just doesn't show it because it's a blue tile and we haven't bought it yet. I think that's what it is. Because this looks like one from the mountain and two from these two tiles, from these two rainforest tiles. But two rainforest tiles give one bonus, so that's actually says it when you hover over it. Thank you. It would just be nice if it had these icons, even if they were blue. Because it's quite confusing if it doesn't. 
So if we build this, we need to build it somewhere around the mountain. Probably here. Get that and that mountain bonus. That would be nice. We have some money. Um, stop that. Get that. Like that. Uh huh. This will be improved, so that bonus will disappear. But we get these two, and these two won't move, so this will always be a plus two bonus. No problem. And we meet requirements if there's anything that needs to be adjacent to a campus and a river and a mountain or something like that. Or even a forest or something. That's good. Do we want to go in that? Or do we want to do something else? We built it on the coast, so it might as well start a harbor, which we don't have yet. Do we need anything here? 16 turns until growth, plus 8 is not that good. Might as well build a granary. 9 turns. Culture, plus 5.7 culture at the moment, that's also not really good. One food, two housing, one food, one production. Don't need the two housing yet, we still have two. This might be better. We have rice, do we have wheat? No, complete waste. <laughs> up here we have rice, that's good. Definitely helps up there, which we, I, I think that's something we're going to build up there. Relatively soon, as soon as that settler is done. Just to get that little bit extra. Uh, might as well get started. Yes, please. Thank you. Awesome. Hello? Is that you? Did you really just build where I want to build? Oh, you suck. You know what? Lose all your chariots attacking that barbarian there. I don't care. Um, I need to kill this guy relatively soon. Messing up all my plans. I do want to have that city. It's a nice location. I take all the resources there. Yeah, sure. Um, I do want to raise that and put my own down there, which I probably can't now. Oh, just about barely. Oh, that's gonna be bad. If this city grows like one tile in that direction, then I can't get that. And that's the only feasible direction to grow in. Well, it's either towards that or towards these. Alright, we need to ready for war. So that means we need to get the troops up and running. Hmm. No oh, friends, you're somewhere up here, alright. Yeah, die. Just lose all your units. That would be nice. Alright, I think we're gonna end this here and then we have a look the next time and see that we prepare for war! That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe for more, leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon.